Though this isn't surprising, there is big news out of Champaign as Illinois sophomore guard Andre Curbelo has entered the transfer portal after two roller coaster years at Illinois. At his best, Curbelo is one of the most electric playmakers in the country, one of the most entertaining point guards, and a potential future NBA prospect. But during his lulls, of which there were many as a sophomore, Curbelo could be an inefficient, oftentimes frustrating player. But Curbelo now will take his talent elsewhere, and it likely will be in high demand. For Illinois, Curbelo certainly is a loss. He was the sixth man of the year in the Big Ten as a freshman, and he was fantastic during the final 10 games of what was a great end of the season for Illinois in 2021, outside of that second-round loss to Loyola in the NCAA tournament. But during that 10-game stretch, Curbelo averaged 12.7 points, 5.6 rebounds, and four assists while shooting 55% from the field. He was one of their best players down the stretch and a real reason they have a Big Ten tournament title banner. Curbelo was expected to take a star turn as a sophomore as he ran the show now with Io DeSumo off to the NBA. But a severe concussion and then a COVID diagnosis forced him to sit 14 games in the middle of the season, and he never was the same after that. While Curbelo became one of the team's best defenders this season, his shooting percentage fell 18% this season, and he had just seven more assists on the season than turnovers. He needs to mature on the court and play more in control, though a reset elsewhere may help that. He was recruited heavily by St. John's in Miami out of high school, so those two schools could make sense. And he's from Puerto Rico and could have professional opportunities there if he wants to pursue them. As for Illinois, Curbelo is a loss in that he has great potential and he could be a star elsewhere if he gets that reset that he needs. But Illinois may have struggled to count on him as the guy next season, given his tendency to kill some possessions. Plus, Elon, I do have talent coming in at the backcourt. Jaden Epps is a top 75 talent, one of the best bucket getters in the class of 2022, and he'll come in with more strength than Cabrillo had and has a much better outside jumper. The Illini also add four-star guards, Sincere Harris out of LeBron James High School in Ohio, brings some length, some tenacity on defense, and also some shooting. But the Illini also could be on the verge of adding more talent to the backcourt. The Illini are one of the top options for five-star class of 2022 guard, Sky Clark a former Kentucky signee who could give the Illini a dynamic guard who can score at all three levels, give the Illini more size at the position as well. Illinois also is looking heavily at transfers on the wing who can give Illinois more playmakers with size, including Texas Tech's Terrence Shannon Jr. and LSU's Brandon Murray. Given the flashes of brilliance Curbelo showed, it's sad to see him go. He's one of the more polarizing players for the Illini fan base, understandably so given his ups and downs on the court. And it's good to see most fans, though not all, wish him well on his way out. The season did not go as Curbelo planned, and he admitted it was tough on him mentally. But there's a chance this split may be best for both parties to reset moving forward. But in two years, Curbelo is part of a lot of wins at Illinois. And without him, Illinois probably doesn't win two Big Ten title banners, the tournament title and 2021 and the Big Ten regular season title down the stretch because Curbelo had some big games offensively and certainly was huge defensively for Illinois this past season. So even though Curbelo's stay was shorter than desired, he certainly left his mark at Illinois.